the disciples, they were afraid. They thought they were seeing a ghost. Then the Bible tells us in Matthew 14, 27, it says, But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Hmm. That phrase, it is I, um, was translated from the Greek phrase, ego am I. And if you can actually take that Greek phrase and you can literally translate it to I am. And which is the divine name of God that we find from Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. When God is speaking with Moses face to face, God says, um, God said to Moses, I am who I am. You see, Jesus was declaring himself as the divine son of God to the disciples. No, it's okay, I am. I am that I am is here. Don't worry, the divine son of God. Don't fear the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God who spoke to Moses face to face. It's okay, disciples. You were in the middle of the storm. The, the waves are crashing. You think it's a ghost, but no, 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 it's I am. The divine son of God. You see, God will show up in the middle of your storm and declare himself holy. Again, the winds might not die. The waves might not subside. The rain might not stop. But what you do next makes all the difference. What you do in the midst of the storm will make all the difference in the world. What does Peter do? Peter, in the presence of Jesus, in the presence of the great I am, he exercises this fearless faith. Fearless faith. Turn to your neighbor, say fearless faith. And Peter, he has this fearless faith. And in verse 28, we read, it says, Peter says, Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. And so in the midst of the storm, uh, of staying, uh, in the midst of the storm, uh, of staying in the comfort of the safety of its own boat, like, like yeah, there was, there was a storm, there's winds, there's waves, but at least he was in the boat. Right, like Peter's in the boat, there's some kind of safety. Peter decides it's now or never. Like, like it's now or never. Jesus just declared it's him. He just declared himself as the divine son of God. Peter's got to be thinking to himself, man, this, it's now or never. And Jesus was walking on water. Lord, if it's you. Lord, if this is really you, call me out. Because Peter, he's thinking to himself, like, I'm not built to conform to the ways of this world. God has not called me to be some, God has got some greater calling on my life. He's called me to be bigger and better. God has a plan. He has a purpose for my life. And, and, and if I'm going to be the man or woman of God that he's called me to be, I'm going to have to have some fearless faith. Peter's like, if it's you, Lord, call me out. Call me out. What area of your life do you need to exercise fearless faith? Take a bold step for the cause of Christ to trust God. Maybe it's in your business. Maybe it's at school. Maybe it's to start tithing. Maybe it's to invite a friend or a family member to uh, our Easter services. Maybe it's to join a dream team. This coming Saturday, we have our Easter Palooza. It's a very special Easter Palooza that we put on. on. It's the Saturday, uh, the weekend before Easter. And, and so it's this coming Saturday. And, and we have uh, close to 200 people already signed up to be here, families and, and individuals with special needs. But we need volunteers. We need um, probably 50 or more volunteers. And so we need a good, you know, probably 20 more volunteers. So as you leave today, I want to encourage you that, if you can be here on Saturday to help us to go out and sign up because we want to make this event so special for our special needs community. We just want to love them. We want to show them the love of Christ to, to a community that's often um, ostracized by the culture and the world that we live in. We want to create a safe space for them to just come in and be themselves, to not be worried or embarrassed or anything like that. We just want to love on them. It's a phenomenal event, so please. But, but God's asking you to take some kind of step of faith. Because what I know is if we're going to be the men or women of God that he's called us to be, that if we're going to be the church that God has called us to be, it's not going to happen sitting in the boat. It's just not going to happen. Sitting back and watching, wow, that was pretty cool, Jesus. Like, whoa, you're, like, you're walking on water, like that's that, that's. You're in the middle of a storm. We're like four miles offshore. Like that's it's impressive. It's pretty cool. 
and just sit back and enjoy the miracle. I think we have too many Christians sitting back and just watching. Like, wow, that's, that's pretty neat. We have 12 people being baptized. Wow, that's awesome. Man, we have so many volunteers and people working in teams. And wow, that's pretty neat. Too many Christians sitting back and just admiring from the sidelines. Like, wow, like, man, church is making a difference. And are you a spectator or a player? Are you watching? Are you engaged? Are you spectating or are you involved? 